Hi guys, welcome to the latest episode of The Journey of Jim. Today is a field day. We've come here to the Jackson Farmer's Market on a Saturday morning and it was impossible to find a parking space, but we are here, we found a parking space, and we are here to check out the awesomeness that is the Jackson Farmer's Market. Come with me, won't you, on this episode of The Journey of Jim. How does, how does, what's different from goat milk soak and regular soak? Well, the, uh, your regular soak has a lot of different chemicals and stuff in it. Right. And we use all natural stuff making our soap. And that's probably uh, your own goats? It's our own goats. Cool. I'll have to come back and get a bar of that. Because that just, I've always wanted to try soap from another animal. That's, so you said there's, what's what's all the stuff in there? You said there's like no chemicals well, we and make the old, uh, we make the old time Eli soap is what we do. Right. And then we added our goat milk and our all natural oils to it. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what we got. It's Eli soap with goat's milk and natural oils. That's oh, what that cool. Is. Cool, and you guys will be here for most of the day, right? Come back and get some of that. Checking out what you got here. Okay. Uh, what what country does this come from? Well, this is actually a company from outside of Seattle, Washington. Right. And this is from Guatemala. It's from Ethiopia, <laughs> Nicaragua, and this is a. I think that's a brew, man. Yeah. I've got a friend who goes to Ethiopia. Oh, he does sell the same thing, the Yerga Chef. Yes. He he said it has like a blueberry, almost blueberry taste to it, like a fruit sort of thing. No, I think it's yeah, but I think it's maybe a little more earthy though. At the same time, okay. than a couple of others. And you actually sell the unground, or is this ground? Oh, uh, this is unground. This whole. Oh, thing. that's good. That's cool. What's the caffeine content in this stuff compared that, to? I don't know. This is actually my son's business, and I'm just fiddling in for him. He's coming back from vacation today. Oh, and my cool. wife went down to the beach for a week. So. Cool. So people I live with are big coffee drinkers. Well, good. I have to pick up some for them. Yeah, sounds good. What is this? That is bee pollen, sir. That's bee pollen. How do you try bee pollen? Um, you can it's, you can incorporate the salads, oatmeal cold cereals, you can take it as is, you can put it in the uh, fillable capsules you get at GMC, Right. you can fill them up, you just take two teaspoons a day. And what is it supposed to do for you? Um, it's good for longevity, it's good for carpal tunnel, arthritis, glaucoma, memory loss, weight loss, about a million things. Now, how does it do for weight loss? Um, you know, my brother could probably tell you more about that because he's tried it. <laughs> oh. He's lost over 60 pounds on it. Oh, cool. I, I'm on the same thing, too, which is why I'm wearing this shirt. I'm just video blogging for yeah. the thing I got. Uh, does it raise your metabolism or just... It raises your metabolism, makes your metabolism quicker. Right. That's what it does. And since it's pollen, I mean, does it matter if you have allergies? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> if you have bad allergies, it can send you an anaphylactic shock. 
Wow, that's nice. <laughs> and if you do, I suggest the honey first. Right. You have a regiment of honey about six months, and then you can go to the bee pollen. Okay. How much is uh, like some bee that's pollen? That's a one pound uh, jar of bee pollen is ten dollars. Cool. A pound and a half is fifteen. And how much do you take a day? Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Oh, so that'll last a while then. It lasts a good bit, yeah. All right. Well, you know, it's like I was saying, you never know who you're going to meet at the farmer's market. Maybe somebody like... Morning, Ross. Hey, Jim. Yes. What you doing down here at the farmer's market? Oh, uh, just filming some stuff in a nuisance of myself. Are you just wandering around? Yeah. Painless, sort of. Yeah. What's well, around here? Guys over there selling bee pollen. Bee pollen. Bee pollen and goat soap. Soap from soap. goats. Soap from goats. Now. So I'm not picking some up from for Cindy. Right. Not from Cindy. That would be a whole other show. Exactly. Yeah. yeast cake. We have some different kind of popcorns. We have oh, caramel popcorn, some uh, purple popcorn, and some white popcorn, red chocolate. This is ham flavored soup base. Or soups. These. These are really cool. Different pastas. This one's made with spinach. We got an artichoke spinach, nine grain, tomato basil. And this is a really cool one. Chili jalapeno. That'll wake you up in the morning. We've got an ultra grain, 100% whole wheat. Broccoli and carrot. Got the vegetable crisps. So you could eat those like snack foods. Let's see what would Brian and Cindy like?
I gotta ask, what's a butter cheese? It's just the name, I guess. It's the oh. Texture and stuff. Cool. It's real soft and it's good. Oh. It's good. Hickory smoked cheddar. I could, I could die happy. <laughs> so, it's just hickory smoked cheddar cheese. Okay, is this all done like homemade or? This is, we get it from, uh, we get it from a processing factory. Oh, cool. Some of those but it's all natural and, oh, excellent. Now there's different things here at the farmer's market. There's vegetables, there's chips, there's pasta, there's soap, there's lotion, there's bee pollen, there's gigantic donuts the size of dinner plates, and there is homemade Cuban food. I'm going to get Brian and Cindy a couple of empanadas and hopefully they won't get too cold by the time I go back to the lift. Check it out. She's excited about life. She's way excited about life. Okay. Good cool. morning. morning. Say, what is an empanada? Empanadas? Yeah. Is a dough which we stuff with beef or right. chicken and we fry it. Okay, could I get a one chicken and one beef? What are they, three? Yeah. Use that one. One and one? Yeah. Would you like to make it a meal and get tostones? Uh, I'm just getting them for a couple of friends, so I'm going to try one, one, of, one of each. Sure. Oh, it is hot. All right, let me show you guys what I got. Well, first of all, I got Brian and Cindy lunch. I, I bought them a lot of presents. Thought about my name. Nice thing to do when they go on their trip to see Brian's dad. Uh, these are empanadas. Empanadas are basically baked or fried dough. This is chicken, I think, and the other one is beef, I think. <laughs> All right, we have empanadas and some of the other cool stuff I got was some cracked wheat sourdough bread. It's got a little crunch to it. The lady makes it herself. You saw her earlier on the video. Uh, we have some broccoli and carrot pasta. This should be yummy. Cindy will love this. We have some crisp veggie chips that they can take on the road and enjoy for the long drive up to Kentucky. And so what's in here? We have Carrot, squash, sweet potato, taro, green beans, some soybean oil, and some salt. Cool. And last but not least, where is it? Hard to get a hold of with one hand. We met a nice guy who makes lotions and soaps from goat milk. <laughs> We went with the kudzu scented bar. Now I know what you're thinking, if you're in the south, kudzu, the kind of annoying plant, but gosh this smells good. I wish you could have some sort of scent, YouTube had some sort of a scent function, because this smells absolutely gorgeous. Now what we've learned today is that there's a lot of cool stuff out there that you can go and see and you can remain active. You don't have to stay on your couch all weekend. You can go out and sweat a bit, <laughs> sweat a lot as the case may be here in Jackson, Tennessee this uh, July. And you can meet some nice people, get some good stuff, be healthy, be happy, stay active, and get back into life. We'll see you next time.